I'm Chris Robinson and welcome to this digital photo video lesson. In this month's magazine you can find out how to take a still life image like this and in this video we're going to see how easy it is to clean up this picture and then add some fiery autumn colour to really get the best out of the shot. I'll just close this finished picture down and then we can see how it's done. As usual you'll find this picture of the leaf on the digital photo disc so you can open it up and try this out for yourself. Right, the first thing we need to do is just clean up this image. If you look down here in the bottom left corner you can see that the photographer's fingers have just crept into the edge of the frame where he's holding the leaf. Luckily it's really easy to get rid of this and to do it we're going to use the clone tool. In the toolbox just click on the uh, clone stamp tool here and then I'm just going to magnify this image so we can see what's going on by hitting Ctrl and plus on the keyboard. Now if you hold the space bar down you'll be able to click and drag the image and there we are we can see quite clearly now the fingers we need to get rid of. To do this really well I'm going to need a slightly bigger clone stamp brush so I'm going to hit the uh, square brackets key, the right hand square brackets key on the keyboard just to make that brush a little bigger. Yep, something like that should be fine. I need to tell Photoshop which point I want to clone from first. And to do this, I need to hold down the Alt key, and I'm going to click in the center of the uh, stem of the leaf here to set the uh, clone source point. I'm going to start cloning around here, so just click and drag, and just keep painting in that background over the finger until it's completely disappeared. Right. That looks pretty good. In fact, you'd never have known it had been there at all. I think this shot looks a little bit flat. So to really bring out the detail in the image, we're going to add a Levels Adjustment layer. To do this, we need to bring the Layers palette onto the screen. And you can hit F7 on the keyboard if you can't see that already, and this will bring it up. We want this adjustment to affect the whole of the image, so we don't have to make a specific selection. Simply go to the uh, Create Adjustment Layer icon, and we're going to select Levels. I want to boost the dark tones in the image, so I'm going to click on this black point and just move that into around... Uh, yeah, that looks OK. And then with the white point to boost the uh, lighter tones, I'm going to move this into about that point there. And you can see in the preview window that already the contrast is much improved. Now click OK to apply these changes. Let's just move this palette out the way, and I'm going to hit Ctrl and 0 to fit our image into the screen. And you can see that that looks much better already. Now we're going to take a look at how we can improve the colour of the leaf. And to do this, I'm going to make a rough selection just around the outside of it. So go to the uh, toolbox, and then I'm going to select the uh, freehand lasso tool. And using this, I'm just going to draw very roughly and quickly around the edge of the leaf, just follow it around until you've selected most of that area. You don't have to be very accurate, as you can see. Just do that quite speedily. And there we are. That's our selection made. And the reason we didn't have to be too accurate with this selection is because we're going to feather it. Now to do this, go to Select, and then Feather. And I'm going to enter a value of around 125 uh, pixels there, and hit OK. Now this means that we'll get a nice smooth graduation between our original image and any adjustments we make to that. I'll just bring the uh, layers palette back onto the screen now. Now we're going to add another adjustment layer. So again, go down to the Create Adjustment Layer icon and click on that. And this time we're going to use a Color Balance Adjustment Layer. So select that and release the mouse. Let's move this out of the way. And you can see that something quite clever has happened here. Because we had a feathered selection active on the screen, Photoshop's taken that and turned it into a nice layer mask for us. So any adjustments we make will actually only affect the leaf itself. By using these sliders, I'm going to add uh, a little bit more red to our uh, leaf. So I'm going to slide that to around 50. I'm going to add a touch of magenta. And I'm going to introduce a little more blue. Then I'm going to click on the highlights option here. And again, I'm going to add more red. So let's take that up to uh, plus 20. That's OK. And then when you're happy with this, click OK. And that leaf's now starting to look really colourful and really fiery. Finally, I want to warm up the background as well to really make the most of those autumn colours. 
And to do this, I'm going to duplicate the last adjustment layer we made. So click in the uh, adjustment layer thumbnail there and drag that down onto the new layer icon. And you'll see that we've made a copy of that. We can be quite clever here and save a little bit of time. What we want to do is tell Photoshop only to affect the background rather than the leaf. And you can do this very easily by going to Image, Adjustments, and Invert. And you can see the mask has now been reversed. So now we're affecting the background, not the leaf. To control the color balance effect we're applying to the background, simply click into the icon there. That brings up the color balance window. And if you hold down the Alt key, you can reset all the adjustments we made earlier and start afresh. I don't really want to warm up the background quite as much as I warmed up the leaf, so this time I'm going to uh, just enter a value of around plus 23 in the red, and I'm going to add a little bit of yellow, so let's go to something like minus 19. That's looking all right in this preview here. Let's click OK and take a better look at that. That seems about there, I think. Let's move this layers palette off the screen. Right, so there we have it. Our complete, richly coloured autumn image.